Hello, I'm Jeff Hampton with the Hampton Law Firm. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about theft cases in Texas and what you can do to get your theft case dismissed. Now today we're going to talk specifically about two ways to get your case dismissed. Number one is conditional dismissals. Number two are diversion programs. All right. Now, if you wait around to the end of this video, I'm also going to give you a free ebook, what to do if you've been charged with a crime in Texas. Let's jump right in. All right. So people call me and they say, Jeff, listen, I'm guilty. Just being frank with you. And I always appreciate a client being honest with me and letting me know up front. Listen, what am I facing? What are we looking at? But sometimes I'll get a lot of first time offenders that will call me and say, I did something wrong. I made a huge mistake. Even if the state of Texas can prove everything, beyond a reasonable doubt, is there still a way that I can get my case, my theft case, dismissed? The simple answer to that is yes. Let's talk about the first option, conditional dismissals. Now, a conditional dismissal for a theft case, here's how that works. The attorney that you decide to hire would go in and negotiate directly with the prosecutor and put together almost kind of a contract between the prosecutor, it's really between the, the district attorney's office and you, where you would agree if you, would do a, if you do a few things up front, the district attorney's office will agree to dismiss the case. For instance, let's say it's a first time shoplifting case. Sometimes the prosecutor will agree that if you, the, your attorney, through your attorney's efforts, can get the prosecutor to agree if you take a, what's called a TIPS class, which is a theft intervention and prevention class. If you complete a TIPS class and maybe some community service hours, or maybe donate to a charity um, to show that you've kind of learned your lesson as far as the prosecutor is concerned, they will agree to then turn around and dismiss your case as a result of that so that you can get your uh, get the arrest completely expunged from your record. Now, some people say, well, how does that really work? Why would a prosecutor do that? Well, for more, for lesser crimes or cases where the state of Texas may have a hard time proving it, proving the case beyond a reasonable doubt, sometimes the prosecutor will feel better about having something to put in their file at, in exchange for that dismissal. I know that because I used to work at the district attorney's office for five and a half years as a prosecutor, and every attorney in my office has worked at the as, as a district attorney. So we understand how they're trained on that, and we want to make sure and provide every opportunity we can to our clients to get an option for a dismissal. That's number one. Now let's talk about the second option. The second option is the diversion program options. Now, when it comes to theft cases, there's really two main areas that we look at for diversion programs. Now, I'm going to talk a lot more about the Tarrant County area right now, Tarrant County, Texas, Fort Worth area, and some of these apply in the Dallas area as well. But let's look at first the Deferred Prosecution Program, all right? So for the Deferred Prosecution Program, this is a diversion program that considers certain types of theft cases for admission into the program. Now, here's the way it's designed. It's designed specifically for first-time youthful offenders, okay? If you're a first-time youthful offender, and we'll define what that is here in just a minute, and they think that you're kind of one that's made a mistake, you're not a criminal, you just made a an error in judgment, and you can self-monitor, all right? You can kind of monitor yourself. You don't need to be on probation. Now, the number one thing you need to understand, if you want to get into a diversion program uh, for a theft case, you have a strict 90-day deadline. You must make sure that you have submitted your application for this diversion program within 90 days from the date the case is filed. If you miss that 90-day deadline, you're excluded. You cannot be considered at all. They have a very strict policy uh, at the district attorney's office for this. A couple of, uh, just a couple of things for you to know. There's usually a $125 fee uh, to get into the program. There's usually a $75 application fee as well. There is an orientation that you have to go to um, with, a, with what they call an accountability partner. So it's usually a family member that goes with you. And then you go to this orientation. If it's a misdemeanor case, it's four months, four month program. If it's a felony case, it's an eight month program. You must pass a drug test, be able to pass an initial drug test. And let me give you some examples of theft cases that specifically qualify for this program. Number one, theft, theft of service. Any theft case where the value is less than $30,000, okay? That's a big deal. I mean, that's pretty considerable. Even an amount that's that high, um, you could still be considered for this diversion program. Secondly, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, which is a state jail felony. Third, burglary of a building, which 
Does not, you cannot have it of a habitation, but if it's of a building, that's a state jail felony, you can be considered for that. Burglary of a coin-operated machine. Credit card and debit card abuse, which is also a state jail felony. Forgery, um, and that's an example, okay? Also possession, manufacture, and distribution of an instrument to commit retail theft, right? That's retail theft is what we're talking about there. So my point is, there's a lot of, of different types of theft-related offenses that qualify for this program. You don't wanna miss it. A lot of lawyers don't even know about this and they don't exercise this option for their clients. Okay, second program. We talked about DPP. Let's talk for a minute about the Veterans Program, all right? The Veterans Program is exclusively a program designed for veterans of the United States military that have served. There must be a clinical diagnosis of a brain injury, mental illness, and mental disorder as a result of service in the military. Sometimes they'll make some accommodations to that where they'll be a little bit flexible as far as that goes. So I always tell every one of my clients, if you serve in the military, let's give this a go if we can, if it, if it makes sense for your situation. Because the veterans program, here's the way it works. It's a, there's a $500 fee. You do have to do uh, some urinalysis. You show up and you do like group meetings with other uh, other people in the program that have been in the military as well. It's through Judge Brent Carr's program. You're supervised from anywhere between six to 24 months. And that applies, that applies really, it depends upon the severity of the case that you're talking about and just your progress in the program. But the benefit is this, you complete these programs, your case is dismissed, okay? You receive an absolute dismissal. That's the benefit of the program. What's the risk? The only real risk of the program is if you're not committed on your theft case, if you're not committed to taking care of business on this program, you could run into a problem where now you're kind of committed in the process and the judge can sentence you. And I'm not saying he's going to send you to prison or send you to jail, but you don't even want to take the risk of that. So I always tell my clients, if we're going to go this route, we need to make sure we feel like this is the best avenue to take. All right. Now, maybe you're facing a theft case uh, in Texas. Maybe you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area and you would like the Hampton Law Firm uh, to sit down with you or do it over the phone and kind of go over the facts of your case, give you a free case analysis. We would be happy to do that. Don't hesitate to contact the Hampton Law Firm at 817-877-5200. I promised you if you waited around to the end of this video, I'd also give you a free ebook, what to do if you've been charged with a crime in Texas. Click the link down here below. I'll be happy to send that over to you. And thanks again for joining us today uh, on our video series about how to get a theft case dismissed in Texas.